Hello, 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 everybody. The name is Falcon Eyes, and welcome back to Skyborn. And we're back. Yes, we're back. <laughs> Finally back. And uh, yeah, let's just go now. And the last time we arrived at this Alda's house, and then yeah, we just sleep. And yeah, let's let's continue. Let's see what we what they have in store for us. Okay, let's enter the store and. Another dungeon, okay. <laughs> Ooh, there's a door. Locked. Find a yellow switch to open the door. Aye, come on. <laughs> okay, then, what's this? Uh, I cannot do anything about it. Okay, then. Alright, let's find this yellow, then. Yellow button, then. Ooh, there it is. Alright, let's go back. Let's go back and see what they have store for us. I saw some uh, treasure chest inside it, so I hope it's a great item or maybe equipment. I'll take anything anyway. <laughs> Let's see. Ooh, Ace of Spades. Do I have complete now? Let's see. Uh, four, two, six, ten, eight, Jack, Queen, Ace. Yeah, it's still a lot. Still a lot. We still need a lot of them. But okay, let's continue. I already opened the blue button, so yep, there it is. So the unlocked, and yep. Let's go inside, but first let's kill this guy first. Okay, so let's see. Another dun oh, oh my! Look at this place. It seems to go on for miles in every direction. True, it is quite easy to get lost down here. But if we are diligent about remembering landmarks, we have nothing to fear. Okay. Still a dungeon. Notes! Okay, I'll take it. Okay, so this place is pretty much circling around. Okay. I get it, I get it. So I guess I'll start with here. Ooh, what's this? chair. It's a throne, I guess. There's a door. There's a button, so let's press it first. Okay, this might gonna take some time to finish. But okay, we'll back again after I figure out where the exit is. Okay. Okay, so I kinda already know what's going on on this place and uh, let's see if I was right so there is some mark like this it's kind of pointing the way if I'm not mistaken though see so I could just follow this and let's keep following it goes down go here and I guess this is it. Let's try. Yep. <laughs> okay, then. That was kind of easy. So, oh, hello, big guy. I'll take this first. I'll HPNP status restored, and uh, there's nothing. Okay. So let's say first, just in case, uh, for here. Okay. And uh, yep, nothing. Let's do it again. And yeah, let's just go. This is as far as I've ever ventured. The great beast Fafnir seems to be guarding something of great import. But perhaps now, with allies, I'll have the strength to slay him. Okay. Right from the start. Paralyzed. Great. Great. Our main tank is already paralyzed. Just great. And what do I want to do? Let's do this. Because why not? Sullivan is uh, great. Let us magic resist. Boom. Claret, you can expose weakness first. Let's debuff the heck out of him first. But I need to use cleanse to Sully. There we go. Oh, nice, nice. That's really hurt, though. Still hurt. Still hurt like us. Okay, let's try Venom. And 
uh, I don't know what to do. Probably Command Aura. There we go. And then probably we just spam this Mystic Mystic Saber. And then I can use Sniper Shot. And then I can just regenerate. There we go. Ah, ah. Boom! Headshot. I can do. Koj. Yeah, let's do it. Glide! Okay. It's fine, it's fine. You can just attack normally. Alda, you can Mystic Saber. Ooh, that was easy. <laughs> okay. Hellfire War Glaive. Yes. Looks awesome. Let's cure, of course. That's the important thing. But yeah, I, I take my time to grind and go back to town to restock some item and uh, what is it? Uh, get better equipment. So yeah, it's pretty normal. <laughs> but okay, okay. Let's see. Help! I will work late. Hmm. I don't know. This is good. Okay, I'll use that instead of. Okay, 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 Alda, I see you, Alda. She's pretty much the main powerhouse now. <laughs> Aside from Claret. And, uh, it's nothing, so there's stairs. Let's see, nothing, okay, so let's just go upstairs, and there's nothing as well. Ooh, there's a door over there. Ooh, that's the ether, ether fuel. I'm not mistaken. But first, let's. Okay, never mind. <laughs> so let's go to the either view. Let's go up here, and there it is. Okay. Oh, wow! Look at this! I've never seen anything like it. I have, in a junk heap. That thing just looks silly. No, no, look at these joints. They are nearly seamless, but they can still rotate. It looks sad. Can we polish it up a bit before we go? Oh. Master. <coughs> At last, you have come. Long have I awaited this day. Um, what day is it? An Earth child has returned. Why is it looking at me like that? Such time has passed. I must tell you of your kind, Earth child. But I don't have a kind. No, not anymore. Ooh. Ooh. So we get a little bit of background about Cheska, I guess. Once this land floated high above the surface, it was home to a race known as the Earth Fae. They were a varied people, some transient, some eternal, some playful, some terrible. These were the Earth's own children, the first to be born unto this world. I'm sure it's the column voice, right? <laughs> In time, a younger race followed. Those who called themselves humans. The Fae watched humans from afar as the young race made war and shed the blood of its own kind, yet continued to advance. That such flawed creatures could flourish both astonished and frightened the ever unchanging Fae. The face of humans forced the very bones of the earth into tools and machines which did their bidding. And fierce of their creations, the fae gave life to the first of their servants, golems, modeled after human creations but powered by fae magic. Ah. While strong and obedient, this possessed only a only an imitation of true intelligence. It was not long before the Fae developed a more ambitious design. Ah. They lured 
kept humans from their homes with spells of glamour and poured fey magic into their souls and bodies. So they became the wing men, forget the name, reforming them in accordance with their own desires. Thus, a new race, Skyborn. Okay, then. These, the Fey deemed superior to all but themselves. The young Skyborn worshipped the Fey in turn, and delighted their creators with their lively intellect and patience. The winged Skyborn, however, were still human in part. As they grew in number and in power, they grew restless. Then envied the freedom of the true humans and began to resent their fey masters. Ooh, okay. The Skyborn's discontent grew. One day, they unleashed their frustra frustration upon a human settlement, destroying it. In doing so, they realized the full extent of their own power. And thus began. The bloodlust of the Skyborn once awakened could not be saddened. They were far too powerful to be ruled, and they turned on their creators. The Fey realized their mistake too late. In their pride, they had given birth to their own demise. Not even the Faelord, Qualon, could stop the slaughter. With Qualon's defeat, the magic of the Faelands bled out and sank beneath the clouds. Okay. And that has been the end of the race known as Fae, until now. So Cheska is the Fae? No? I have waited ages to impart that story. Should the earthen fae come again? Now, my mission is complete. Wait, don't go yet. I wish you well, earth child. Whoa. Okay, it's gone. I've never heard of any of this. Nor I. That story, it dis it disturbs me. These ruins must be hundreds of years old. I wonder how long ago all that took place. That's all you guys can say? Cheska? Oh, <laughs> Cheska. I'm so sorry. My, my kind. I know, this just proves how despicable people can be. Both Skyborn and human. Oh, that's not what I meant. Don't you see? I've I have a kind. E yeah, I guess. All my life I believed I was some kind of horrible accident. But oh, then I might actually be something. Oh, that's good for you. It's more than I've ever dared to hope for. I'm happy for you? Thank you. I feel a great shame. I had no idea of the crimes my ancestors committed against yours. Neither of us were there. You needn't feel at all ashamed. Though, I would be very happy if you would refrain from calling me a monster from now on. Of course. This is quite fascinating and everything, but there's a giant glowing crystal begging to be investigated. Oh, right! That's the fuel! Wow, look at the way my gear is reacting to this thing. I've never seen this before. If everything the column said is true, this construct must have been fueled by fey magic. Forgive my technological ignorance, Claret, but I think you may have found what you're looking for. I'm sorry if I really ruined the voices. <laughs> it's been a while so I don't remember what voices I give them. So I will just, you know, let's, let's just, let's, ah, let's just go. <laughs> it's gotta be. Give me just a second. Either view, there it is. There it is. What's up, Corbin? Just got so, so different. 
Corwin, there's no need to go around pointing it out. I just meant that she's, you know, she's something else. You're one to talk. Urgh, never mind. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> okay, so probably. Oh, hello, Sashka. I scouted ahead. Just over there to the right, a new path opened up. Opened it up for us. It could be a safe way out of here. Okay, figures. Let's get inside. So. Huh. Jump through this. Jump down the waterfall. Ooh, okay. Geronimo! Whee! Safe way out. <laughs> right, safe way. Alda, thanks for all your help. I really don't think we could have made it without you. Your skills were a great help, I must admit. Forgive my solicitude, but I feel compelled to travel with you, if you would have me. You want to come with us? I do. In our short time together, I have already learned more than I ever did on my own. And I believe that your Cheska may be the key. To what I'm not yet certain. Might I just add that this is a horrible idea? You don't remember who our enemies are, right? Alda's not on their side, dummy. That doesn't mean we can trust her. Have you seen those big blue wings? She's skyborne. <laughs> and you complain about their attitude? <laughs> Alda, before you join us. You should know that we are planning on breaking into high-level prison and freeing the half-breeds that the Skyborn have captured. <sighs> now you've done it. <laughs> half-breeds? What's ev whatever for? I didn't figure you would have any sympathy. There are few enough half-breeds to make the matter insignificant, free or not. They are evidence of greatly shameful acts, of course, and will and never be accepted into Skyborn society. If they are so insignificant, why have the Skyborn been hunting them down so ruthlessly? That I do not know. That's odd. Well, Alda, if you're going to be joining us, I'd ask that you promise one thing. You must never reveal anything to the Skyborn. Beyond that, it's up to you whether you want to help us or not. You have my solemn oath. It is obvious that my race arouses your suspicious suspicions, and rightly so. However, consider the advantage of na uh, consider the advantage you now have with me at your side. More of them will listen to you now than wouldn't before. Yeah, I think that's true because we have a friend, a Skyborn friend. True enough, Alda. Now that we've got the fuel, I'm itching to get to work. Let's head back to my shop in the industrial district. Okay, I hope I still remember that. <laughs> okay, so let's get out from here. Not on what island? Okay. So let's just follow over here and up here and just keep going and there's a drawer okay let's save over here save file one okay then all right so i just left this episode here for now <laughs> and uh yeah so far so good we got the interview and we learned a little bit about the background of the chaska and the skyborn race so yeah, this is pretty interesting so far. Uh, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for coming. Thank you for having fun together with me. Spread love, spread the fun, and I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya!